Hello everyone, welcome to Inthigyan. In this very exciting video of complex exponential equations, we'll be solving 1 plus i power 9 over 1 plus i power 7 whole power x equal to x. While solving this complex exponential equation, we'll be using exponent exponent properties, we'll be using log, log properties, we'll use Wolfram Alpha, we'll use Lambert W, we'll see the result through algebraic manipulations. So let's get started by writing few exponents of imaginary number i. So let me begin with i, as we all know, i is equal to square root of negative 1. So i square value would be if I will take a square of that, then it will come out negative 1. If I want to write i power 4, then I will be writing i square whole square. So this value will be plus 1. Minus 1 square plus 1. Okay. So let's find out i 9, i power 9. That value would be i power 8 times i. i power 8 we can write i power 4 whole square times i. So it is 1 a square times i. That means value would be i. Now denominators i 7, i power 7. I will write i power 7 as i power 4 times i power 2 times i power 1. 4 plus 2, 6 plus 1, 7. Okay. Now put the value of i4. It is 1. i square, negative 1. i as it is i. So overall we will be having minus i. i power 7 is negative i. i power 9 is plus i. So let me put both the values in the given equation. So equation will convert. 1 plus i over 1 minus i whole power x. It is equal to x. Now I will simplify this 1 plus i over 1 minus i first. So if we will simplify, so we will use rationalization. 1 plus i over 1 minus i. I will take denominators conjugate which is 1 plus i, I will multiply in the numerator denominator by the same. Once I will multiply by its conjugate, denominator's conjugate, then I will have 1 plus i whole square in the numerator and in the denominator the difference of two squares. Difference of squares you can see a plus b a minus b. So I will write 1 square minus i square. Let me write here the difference of square formula, which is a square minus b square is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So it will give us 1 plus i square plus 2i over 1, 1 square is 1, i square is negative 1, so minus of minus 1 plus 1. Now you will write i square as minus 1, so I will cancel both the terms. So overall what we are getting from there, it is 2i over 2, hence it is i. So inside the bracket, it is ultimately i. So equation will convert into, let me write that equation, i power x equal to x. This equation we are going to solve. So let me take ln both sides. So I will write i power x equal to ln x. In next step I will use the property of log ln a power b can be written as b ln a. So it will become x ln i equal to ln x. x ln i equal to ln x. Okay. Now one exponent rule which is very very useful in such kind of questions 
x is equal to e power ln x. This is something which is very very useful in such kind of equations. So I will write in place of x, I will write e raised to the power ln x times ln i equal to ln x. Now I will rearrange the terms only. So I can write e raised to the power, I will take e raised to the power ln x to the right, it will go to the denominator, then I will take in the numerator by writing its power negative. So e raised to the power ln minus ln x times ln x equal to ln i. Now it is in a standard form. So I am talking a standard form means x times e raised to the power x is equal to a and as we know the lambda w function of x times e raised to the power x then we can write this is x. So once we take lambda w both sides so we will having x is equal to lambda w function of constant a. This is what I am trying to collect. Okay. So now if I will see x is there but here it is negative power. So what I will do I will multiply both sides by negative 1. Okay. So equation will convert minus ln x. Let me put in the bracket so that it can be easily visible minus ln x in the power also equal to minus ln i. Okay. Now we can write left hand side as minus ln x equal to lambda w function of minus ln i. Okay. From this equation I can write ln x as or rather is to use this equation ln x as x ln i. Okay, so I will put here no need to write in the exponent form that is why I am taking direct usage of the already written equation. Okay, so I will write minus ln x ln i equal to lambda w function of negative ln i. Next step I would write x will come out minus lambda w function of negative ln i over ln i. Now we all know e raised to the power i theta using Euler's identity we can write cos theta plus i sin theta. If I will put theta equal to pi by 2 then this value cos pi by 2 0 sin pi by 2 1 i would be as it is i. So in place of i I can use e raised to the power i pi by 2 but ultimately I have to use tool Wolfram alpha so I won't do that but if it is required then we can use this information also. So once I will put the value in Wolfram alpha tool then I will get this value will come out 0 0.4382 plus i times 0 0.3605. This is our required answer. Now point is from other branch we can have one more complex number, one more complex solution. See this is what we calculated. Log stands here natural log. The form if you will put i is equal to e raised to the power i pi by 2 then we will have this form. After that this is Cartesian form 0 0.43 which we calculated this is complex number. Now Cartesian form, polar form see in the trick form also using Euler's identity. This is how we can conclude this problem x will be equal to 0 0.4382 plus i times 0 0.3605. This is our answer. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Till next video. Bye bye.